Hello crafters, this is Carla Sweet from Scrap and Create and today I am here to share with you a newly created album, mini album, featuring Stamperia's Home for the Holidays collection. I love this collection and I wanted to make something out of this, but there was a problem. It's a romantic collection, which means there's no patterns and solids that comes with it. So, Julie was able to find the perfect solution. This is the Patterns and Solids from Warm Wishes by Graphic 45. So we, we ended up using these, the Patterns and Solids from Graphic 45, Warm Wishes, and it, it matched perfectly with this collection. So thank you, Julie. Could not have made it without those. So if you decide to make this album, you will need one pack of the 12 by 12 from Home for the Holidays, one eight by eight pack, and one Patterns and Solids of Warm Wishes from Graphic 45. So what did we create? Well, this is an eight and a half by eight and a half mini album, four pages, two and a half inch spine. On the cover we feature one of the 8x8 eight eight pages. I love this mountain scenery. But I, it, since these are only 8x8 eight eight and this is 8.5, I want it to keep my tiny border, thin border up here. What I did is I put one of the 8x8s eight up here and one down here. Pulled them so they would stretch to fill in the edges from top to bottom and pulled them to the right. That left a little gap on the left-hand side, but we were able to fill that in with some cut-aparts. And what ga that gave us was this double mountain ridge, which turned out to, it just looks more 3D than we even expected. And I cut apart down here. This is the, the edge border for the paper that's behind here, this page. Since it's hidden under this one, just cut it out and mounted it on black cardstock. It gives it more of a 3D effect. And here we have a cut apart from the 8x8 collection, this little deer, and just kind of tucked him behind there. And actually cut a, um, did a cut apart of the little deer here and put, put this one on top of this one. This is a chipboard element from the collection. Um, I'll put some gold Sharpie around it and some Wink Stella to give it that glitter and then got some gold vellum, added some more chipboard underneath here to pop it up a little bit more, stuck in another flower cut apart. And my intention was to make this kind of look like a golden moon in this beautiful mountain scenery. So that is page, well that's the cover. And then we go to the spine. This, this part right here is actually a wrapped chipboard with some designer paper. Used a cut apart, put some gold glitter around it, a, a ribbon from my, my, um, my stash, going to door number one. Now there are 24 doors in this collection. We use all 24. Doors are prominent in this collection. It's about coming home. And then I added this little bunny. Lots of bunnies in the collection. Just love him. And then the back cover, it's featuring the Christmas Carol paper, which is beautiful. Broke it up with a stripe of the gold from the patterns and solids. Added this little house from the 12 by 12 collection. And then did some more cut aparts of the flowers, lots of flowers in this collection, and then add them to these, these corners. So I thought that was very pretty. Now let's have a peek inside. We have a ribbon closure. So the inside of the album, we feature a pocket. Now this pocket, originally my intention was to just add some photo mats of tags and put them all in here. But what I ended up doing is going to my stash of old Christmas cards. I love Christmas and I have hundreds, I mean hundreds of Christmas cards 
that I've collected over 20, 30 years. So I went and located some that are thick, thick cardstock, like 100, 110 pound cardstock. Just cut them, rounded the corners, and made them into photo mats. Added some designer paper, a photo, and now you have a beautiful photo mat made from an old Christmas card. And you can imagine, once you get started doing this, you can't stop. It's like another photo mat. Well, why not make a, a booklet? An old postcard, heavy cardstock, another fo little photo mat. And then this card, I actually was able to incorporate a, a cut apart from the collection. This house is what is featured on the front cover. So it just like, wow, that just worked out great. And of course we have another little booklet holding two four by six photos. So I thought that was a great idea to utilize your old Christmas cards if you're one of those like me that collects them or has them somewhere. And then we have this little tag from the 8x8 collection featuring Mr. Snowman. I love snowmen, so there's lots of snowmen here. I thought this would be a great tag if you're giving this as a gift to someone to, from, write a little note, the year, and that would fit in here also. And then made a little pocket down here. A little pocket, and we're inserting this little cut apart of Mr. Snowman because I love snowmen, and he just fits right in there. So this is the back cover without any of the, the Christmas card stuffed in there, and we have this little deer, lots of round cut aparts too from this collection, and I just have them tucked back in here peeking out. So page number one is a gatefold. With the, we have these triangle triangle pockets that are just formed from using our patterns or and solids and some designer paper held together by a card, again, using an old Christmas card. And we come to this image, home for the holidays, our little house with our door and our bunnies telling us it's Christmas time. You open this up and it says, welcome home. So we have these two little side flaps here and they just have these round cut aparts that are just used as tuck spots on top and on bottom on both sides. It's two by three, three by four, is it three by three. And then I didn't want to cover this because this is it's telling us welcome home. But these little round, little red round knobs like here, they look like little red knobs. It means there's more. So you open this up and now we have these flaps on both sides built exactly the same where you can add more photos. So this one, this side, this flap will hold a, a little cut down of a 4x6. Uh, uh, it's not quite a 4x6. And then you have, let me get to my, you have room for a 3x4 here, 2x3 here if you wish. And that's on both sides. So lots of photo opportunities just on this first page. And of course, held together by our little card stopper. And page two features one of two waterfalls in this album. This is a vertical waterfall. We have a horizontal also. Here is our magnetic closure. Put some ribbon here from my stash, one of the circle cut aparts that's hiding the magnet under here. And then we have these cards from Stamperia. Stamperias are not quite four by six like Graphic 45, um, but we made our waterfall with them. And I used half inch strips from the patterns and solids and a little bit of the designer paper here and create this waterfall, I like waterfalls, especially for Christmas, because they kind of tell a story. I like to use these, this is Christmas, 
Christmas Day events of what's going on during Christmas. So lots of photo opportunities and here too, this is going to hold at least 12 photos in here. Now with this page, I had these corners here that were, to me, just looked like something needed to go there. So what I ended up doing was putting these little um, corner pieces that are formed from a die cut that Julie had sent me. It's this die cut from Heartfelt Creations album, album Tags and Accents. It has the die cuts to make those corner pieces. I thought, wow, those are perfect. Put some little bling stones in there, perfect. It also comes with a die to make tags. Now I did not use this ultimately because I ended up using my Christmas cards everywhere. But I wanted to show you what one of the tags would look like. It's just like Graphic 45 in that you have the base um, die cut to make the tag and then you have the other die cut to cut out the designer paper. And I also used this border element right here, down on here. So these do make beautiful tags if you would like something like this. So that is page two, now page three. It's just a continuation going this way. We have our little ribbon, which is a, a continuation of this ribbon on this card from the 12 by 12 collection, Mr. Snowman. Now he's going to open up. Oh my goodness, I've lost a card. Anyway, he's going to open up and reveal all our doors. We come to this section which has a pocket. Now, I just wanted to show what you can do. I got this in the mail from Shutterfly last week it had a beautiful family here, but I cut them out and added my beautiful family, my baby grandchild and my son-in-law, and thought, whoa, this is beautiful. I'm just gonna cover it with some cardstock. What a great idea. If you get one of these in the mail, don't throw it away, utilize it. This Christmas card, I had a bunch of these from last Christmas also, and my grandbaby, she loved this because you could do who's, who's behind the window, Ona? And she would see herself behind the window and she would get so excited. So if you have grandkids or, or little young children of your own and you have a card that has these peekaboo windows, put their picture behind it. They will love this. And now with this collection, this door matches our doors over here. So I thought, wow, that's perfect. Then we come to our first set of doors, doors one through 10. Now these, these doors, we know there's 24 doors, but there's also 24 of these cut aparts with all these beautiful little images. So what you could do, oh, there's door number five. So what you could do is simply add that image on the back of door number one, and that is very nice. Or you can do something like this where you make it into a booklet. Door number two, image number two, and then you have a little photo on this side. Or you can do door number three, just put a, a, a photo of a family member and a place for journaling. The options are endless. So this is, this is holding doors one through 10. And what these are, are stacked pockets, five stacked pockets. And this is using patterns and solids and the, the dots from the 12 by 12. This idea totally came from the Scrap Queen. I saw her do it and I loved how she, it, hers turned out. And I thought, I can use that to put my doors in. And these are, um, they, these doors, these uh, pockets do not go all the way down, but it was perfect. It was a perfect solution for my doors. So that's page three. 
and then we got, go on to page four and five, which are mirrors of each other. Now these are also held together by magnets, but these are large basic gray magnets because there's going to be a lot of bulk behind here, so I wanna make sure they stay closed. They're built exactly the same, so I'll just go through one side. I did not want to cover up these birds. This is from the 8x8 collection. I love these birds. So we open it up. We have a flap here. And now with this flap, you can put a 3x4 and a 2x3 down here. And then you have this large spread right here, which, which is this large spread right here. But what I did, I put down another Christmas card that I thought matched this scene. We got the birds on my Christmas card down here. The colors, the greens match perfectly. The golds from the reindeer match perfectly. And I just created a booklet that I adhered down on this flap. Just added some um, car, um, some designer paper from prior Christmas collections, added some Christmas photos here, and I thought that was just darling. This little green half circle tells you there's more, so you open it up, and then you come to this large flap over here. This will easily hold a 5x7 if you want. Lots of places for photos here, and then can put some photos on here also, but this is a pocket. What I did is with another Christmas card, a very plain Christmas card. So if you have these kind of plain Christmas cards, you can decorate them with cut aparts from the collection. The flowers added this round bird, and it looks like it belongs to the collection. And again, one of those peekaboo windows that kids like joy, grandma's joy. If you have grandkids, grandbabies, you know they're the joy. And then a little, um, add this little, little cut apart from the collection too, down here, the bunnies. So that is the middle section. This is just like the other side. Then we come to page six. Now here we have a cut apart a card from the 12 by 12 collection that we mounted on, on black cardstock and made it into a little pocket. And we inserted this little card from the eight by eight collection at a little die cut. <laughs> this is a sweater from the collection. I just use a little die cut. Here's a place for journaling or a photo. And this just lives in here. This is a circle from the 12 by 12 collection mounted on the gold, the gold um, solid paper that's been die cut out. And again, I had these two corners that needed something. There's a lot of negative space here. So once again, I used that die cut from Heartfelt Creations, and I thought it was just perfect. Perfect. I didn't want to use flowers, do any cut aparts with flowers. It was already too flowery, and it would look too busy. This is perfect. Now behind here, this is a, another um, magnet. We have, this opens up, we have this flap that is featuring our doors 11 through 20. This is all built exactly the same as the other set of doors, the stacked pockets. I On these doors, I want to keep the bulk down so it's just going to be single, no booklets. I'm going to be making just little photos of the kiddos. Or if you have kiddos and they're into something like Minnie Mouse, you can put Minnie Mouse, you can put Bluey, you can put dinosaurs, whatever your, your grandchild or child is into, just put them behind these doors and they will have such a good time pulling out the doors and looking at their images of, of the of the things that they love. Now here, this is the same page that we had on page one also where it said welcome home. 
I just covered up the welcome home with a white, this white cardstock that's been die cut out and inked and added another image of my family that's been die cut and put there. And I just thought that was gorgeous and added this little die cut of this deer family. And he is actually, these has actually a tuck spot also. So beautiful place to showcase an image on this page. And then we come to our horizontal waterfall held together by two small um, basic gray magnets. Here's a ribbon again from my collection. And now we have this eight by eight image intact, the same image we had on page one, but now it is made into a waterfall. Totally got this from Scrap Queen. She does this with Stamperia papers too, where she loves the image. You don't wanna cover the image, but still, maybe you wanna utilize the image for photos. So I thought, wow, what a great idea. Here's your four by six, and then you just cut half inch strips all the way down, and you've got your waterfall, and you've got your entire image intact. Isn't that just a great idea? These are so much fun to make. So that's our horizontal waterfall. And then we come to our last page. Now this page is where we have doors 21 through 25. So 21 through 24, this is just the um, eight by eight doors, small doors. They're all glued together, so you can't pull them up. But what we have here is this envelope from the 12 by 12 collection. And we have these pictures, the 21 to 24. And of course, what am I going to put behind the pictures? Yes. So you can just put pictures of loved ones behind here, anything you like, and they just fit in this envelope. And of course, I had to add a snowman peeking behind the envelope. And then we come to door number 25. There was no door number 25 in the collection. It's Christmas, no door number 25, so we made one. This has a quarter inch gusset. We created a little doorknob with a chipboard element from Graphic 45. If you have any of their chipboard elements, they always have these round circles. Just use some gold Sharpie, put some Wink of Stella, gotta get Wink of Stella, use it all over this album and made a little doorknob. There's a magnet. Put a wreath here, lots of wreaths in the collection. And a two and a five, cut a two from a door number two, a five from door number five, made door number 25. Here's a, a circle, circle cut apart from the collection, and then I cut out home from here. This is, this is the 12 by 12, this is from the eight by eight. So it's all about coming home. And of course I had to add my little bunny again. And I grounded the bunny, because once I put him up here, it looked like he was floating off the paper. So I just used this flat um, tinsel that I got from Michaels. It doesn't add any bulk at all, it's totally flat. And let's look inside our little door. So, oops. So we have a little cut apart here, Santa's post, where you can put a photo. And we have these flaps that open up and you can put some more photos in here. And then we have some more flaps that are going up. So you pull this last one up and it's Merry Christmas. Place for photos, a photo, and a place for journaling down here. I just thought, what a great Christmas door. It's just a cutie patootie. And then the back of the album is just flat. There's nothing there but the designer paper. What I did here, and what I normally like to do in my albums for my family, is if there's a family photo from that Christmas, I usually like to blow it up into a five by seven and put it on the back cover so I can remember this was who was present for that Christmas. 
So everybody's here, me, my husband, my mom, all my sibs, my, their, their spouses, nieces and nephews. This heart is a, a cut apart from, not a cut apart, it's a chipboard element from the collection. Just put some glitter on it. Another cut apart, joy to the world. Family to me is the joy to the world. Merry Christmas, another cut apart. And of course, who did I have to put underneath Merry Christmas? Another snowman. So that is my take on Home for the Holidays for Stamperia. Love, love this album. It, it's, it's everything I want in Christmas. I want home. I want my family. I want the joy. This, this is the joy of Christmas. So I know I talked way too much on this album, so leave comments below. Um, I'm going to try to get the tutorials up. Probably the walkthrough and page one and two will go together, and then every other day I will add a couple of more pages. So let me know what you think, and hopefully you guys will create this. It's a beautiful album if you're into families and home for Christmas. So thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.